Welcome everyone to my tutorial how to create anything in ArchiCAD. Today I will show you the Trustmaker tool. You probably have never heard anything about it, but it's a quite simple and very very useful tool. And we will start right now. Here we have a stair and we need a handrail for it. Of course we can go into the stair options and choose handrail on the left and right side but we want to draw it by ourselves so let's create a section through the stairs doesn't matter in which direction it looks and we go into our section one and there we have our stairs and we choose lines just simple 2d lines shortcut l and another color than black because the section itself right now is black so we want to have another a different color we choose red here and i will draw a line from the from the edge here of the step and it should be one meter high okay oh i don't want it this that's okay, and I copy it to the last step, into the middle, and I put this in the middle either. And I will choose another color, for example, this beautiful blue tone, and draw this line here. This would be the handrail. What I have to do right now is we have to copy to multiplicate the red line so we have all our vertical elements in the middle of all the steps of the stairs um, for this we choose multiplicate i think it's control and hash the shortcut and we choose the fourth option and we say we need 16 copies because these are 17 steps we grab it on this point and copy it to this point that's perfect exactly in the middle of the steps just the way I wanted it and I make this line a little bit bigger and draw another line here in the blue tone so the trust maker first of all we press ctrl shift and a for search and activate and we choose first the red line and we add another criteria and we say it's the pen the color of the pen and our first type is line line and then the color and we take uh, because we have the red lines highlighted we can press on the rectangular layer rectangle how's the name in english rectangle i think it's rectangle we press on the rectangle and then we choose the options of what we have highlighted right now so if i would choose the blue line and press on the rectangle it's blue and we want the red lines and we press the plus button for highlighting all the red lines in our section or whatever we have opened right now could be on the side plan could be in 3d could be on the elevation doesn't matter okay we have all red lines highlighted that's important we are in a section that's the first step we draw lines that's the second step we highlighted the lines we want to we want to transform and now we go over here I'm using the German version, so I don't know what's the name in the English version. Maybe planning, maybe 3D. It's the fourth option in the taskbar here. I hope you will find it if you're using not the German version. Go into planning or 3D and then go into planning extras or 3D extras and there is the trust maker. And we choose the first option, create trust. There's our Trustmaker menu and we choose maybe this one. It's, uh, there's a hole in the middle that's massive and these are some double T bars. But we want this and 
here we can change the options for what we want to create. First of all, the material. Um, this should be simple metal bars. Yeah, we, we can leave it like this. And now we can say we want to have a rectangular shape or a round shape. In this case, we want to have a round shape and it's just one centimeter big. Okay, now we can change the name if you want to. I don't want to. I press save. And now Archicad says a new Trustmaker object has been created on your site plan or your floor plan. Okay, this is what we wanted. So we go into our floor plan and here we see our little bars and we can pull them over. We, we just go into 3D, shortcut is uh, control and 3 for 3D. And look at this, this is what we wanted. These are our vertical lines made of metal. They're around and one centimeter big, just, we, just like we wanted it. And now we will add the handrail, same way. We could use search and activate, but the blue lines are just two lines. So it's quite simple and quick to highlight the two lines. Same way, planning, planning extras, truss maker, create truss. Now we want to have a round truss again, but this time maybe another material, for example, black. Doesn't matter, doesn't have to be realistic right now. And four centimeters big. Change the name, no, it's okay, save. A new object has been created, okay. Go to the floor plan, and here it's still highlighted. And we can grab it on the middle, and put it on the middle of the vertical bars. And now we see we're finished. This is our handrail for our stair. And we could do the same thing on the other side, or we could copy it to the other side. Doesn't matter. What else can I do with the truss maker? Um, sometimes I use the truss maker to create furniture. Yes, really. It's quite simple. You create another section. The truss maker does only work in sections and with lines in sections. And I can draw whatever looks like Ikea. <laughs> this is uh, now storage furniture. I highlight all the lines, same thing. Truss maker, create truss, and then I choose the rectangular form. I can make it massive. Does make more sense than this. I could use this when I, when I create some steel truss and maybe in some storage warehouses or something like this where you can see it um, in this case I choose the massive um, option so right now I have to think about what is what width and height we will see 30 centimeters maybe and 4 centimeters okay save it let's look looks good now we have our IKEA furniture. You can be creative in your forms. You can create anything with the truss maker. And like I said, it's a very useful, very helpful tool to create something custom made very quickly. So I hope you enjoyed it and you've learned something. Right now I will show you some examples I created and thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Have a good time.